health, mind, body, spirit. Hello, you are watching an interesting video on what happens when you finally stop drinking caffeine? Please read this disclaimer carefully. Would it be worth it? Caffeine is a mixed bag. There are benefits associated with consuming it, like improved memory function and obviously greater levels of alertness, but then you hear from people who quit the stuff and say it changed their life. Before take your Keurig out of commission, check out these 8 8 side effects of going caffeine free that you can expect to experience. You'll feel like crap, for a little while. If you've ever gone one too many hours without a caffeine fix, you've probably gotten a taste of withdrawals, and they suck. Symptoms include fatigue, headaches, and some pretty hefty mood swings, says Wesley Delbridge, RD, a, C, a spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. He even recommends telling your friends and family that you are cutting out caffeine before you start so they will know why you are so horrible to be around. Why every person is different, if you are ingesting upwards of 400 to 500 milliliters of caffeine per day, that's about 3 to 4 cups of coffee, 6 cups of tea, or 10 cans of soda, you will probably feel some letdown effects, he says. They typically last 7 to 10 days but you can minimize their effects by winning yourself off of caffeine, rather than quitting cold turkey. Every two or three days, trim your intake just a bit. Drink just half a cup of tea at a time, or mix regular coffee with You'll lose weight. I don't think the average person realizes how many calories they are consuming with their caffeinated drinks, says Delbridge. Sure. You know soda is laden with sugar and blended coffee drinks are weight gain bombs just waiting to happen, but just a bit of cream and sugar in your coffee coffee mug could easily put you at 200 plus calories per serving. Have a few throughout the course of the day, and it's easy to see how foregoing caffeinated beverages could help you slim down. Dot 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 or you'll gain it. Caffeine is a pretty powerful temporary appetite suppressant. You are going to naturally feel hungrier when you go off of caffeine, says Delbridge. Plus, according to Mayo Clinic, caffeine may up your metabolic rate. The effect is likely small, but if you drink your coffee black, it's likely burning more calories than it contains, meaning it will help you lose weight. Take it away, and you could see some fluctuations on the scale. You'll sleep better and have more energy. A caffeine boost even 6 hours before bed can disrupt sleep later on that night, per research in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine. The effect, you wake up tired and in need of more caffeine. The cycle continues. That's why people who are, com are completely off of caffeine sleep deeper and better than those who drink even a little coffee, says Delbridge. Now, You'll likely be tired as your body adjusts to a caffeine-free lifestyle, see number one. But over the long term, you'll have more energy than you'd get from any shot of espresso. You'll feel calmer. Caffeine is a stimulant, meaning it hits your nervous system's gas metal. Caffeine triggers a release of adrenaline, needlessly putting you into fight-or-flight mode. Plus, since caffeine is a vasoconstrictor, Narrowing your blood vessels, it raises your blood pressure, says Delbridge. Get rid of caffeine, and you'll feel less anxious and stressed, he said. Your workouts will suffer. However, that fight or flight mode does come in handy if you're about to run a race or hit up a boot camp workout, says Delbridge. The American College of Sports Medicine has even come out and said that caffeine improves exercise performance and intensity. And as you know, you know, hitting it hard is key to getting the most results from your workout. Your tummy will be happier. 
Coffee poops are real and ever-present threat to Java lovers everywhere. That's because, apart from the fact that caffeine speeds things up in your digestive system, coffee is very acidic, which can also up your risk of the runs, says Delbridge. Basically, sickly, eliminating caffeine from your diet will do a lot to prevent emergency trips to the bathroom. You'll miss out on antioxidants. Coffee is the number one source of antioxidants in the average American's diet, per research from the University of Scranton. That may be why a study published in Breast Cancer Research found that women who drink five or more cups of coffee a day are 57% less likely to, to develop estrogen receptor negative breast cancer than those who drink less than a cup a day. And a recent American Journal of Epidemiology study found that drinking 3 to 5 cups of coffee per day could cut your risk of dying from heart disease by 21%. Meanwhile, green tea is one of the richest sources of antioxidants out there, says Delbridge. So if you're cutting out coffee and tea, it's a good idea to start upping your fruit and veggie. Thank you. Keep watching more interesting and informative videos.